My name is uh, Slavik Markovic. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Disco. I'm Rishi Bhargav. I'm uh, co-founder of Disco. That's not our first rodeo together. Actually, Rishi acquired my uh, first startup. Eventually, we ended up with an office next to each other. So I had an office next to Rishi, and I am a very much a coffee drinker. Our first buy for our company was a good coffee machine. And I had a coffee machine, an espresso small coffee machine in my office. And I kind of got Rishi hooked into that. And every morning he would come in, drink coffee with me. And I would kind of say, uh, okay, let's talk about what we're doing next after uh, McAfee. We decided that we we're going to start a company together, which was uh, Demisto, our uh, second company and we, which we sold to Palo Alto Networks. Yeah, yeah I, I blame him for my coffee addiction now. Uh, our bet was he'll get me addicted to coffee and I'll get him used to the spicy Indian food. I can eat now spicy Indian food. <laughs> We're building this scope actually because we had those, uh, you know, issues as uh, IT support for our uh, extended family. The biggest issue usually is people just lose their passwords, forget how to log in into accounts, and then they come to us. I actually installed a password manager for all of my family and they just don't use it. So we actually started with, okay, let's solve the problem for consumers. And we thought about like going and solving a consumer problem but we realized that we both are not very consumer, you know, people. Like we don't know how to sell to consumers. We said, let's solve it from the other side. Let's make sure that all the applications no longer ask for passwords at all. So that's our goal. Kill passwords, as you see on the shirt. Every consumer, everybody is logging into applications. If you don't solve this problem now, you're going to continue to face the challenge of how do people on board? How do people get into their applications? How do they remember that? As an evolution, passwords have been around for more than 50 plus years, and they were designed to get in when the phones didn't exist, when the identity didn't exist. You don't need them now. So solving now will just enable the faster onboarding. My first startup, Centrigo, which I started in 2006 and sold in 2011, I used to work pretty much, I don't know, 24-7. It was crazy. I would go every day, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. To, to the office and then start over again. And after like two, two and a half years, I really found myself kind of completely burned. I, I just couldn't continue. It was really hard. And so my biggest learning from that was working like nine to five, then having like dropping everything, going home, spending time with the family and then going back maybe at like nine, 10 again, like for myself personally, I try to do like sports, martial arts, things of that nature that kind of decompresses me. And I also read a lot of sci-fi. You know? <laughs> I'm a geek. <laughs> How did we start working with uh, Glenn and Oren? I know Oren for a long time prior to, through the Israeli mafia, so to speak. We met with Oren and he kind of helped focus us and kind of, you know, direct us to the right uh, place. We like to work with people who we enjoy, like smart, humble. We can have an open conversation about all different topics, very grounded. So we just liked that conversation. And I think then it was an easy decision because like if you start to brainstorm, engage, have discussions, rest was obvious, I think. Yeah.